Well, a Michigan State police trooper is being hailed a hero tonight for saving a little girl's life. The one year old was choking on candy as her parents voted last week when he saved the day. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell tells us the trooper is humble about his heroics. Trooper Jesse Graffinino just got inside the Riverview polling location to cast his ballot when he heard a woman screams for help. He knew something was terribly wrong and he needed to act fast. I was determined. I knew that if you know, until EMS got there, she was in my hands. November 6, Election Day, polling locations packed with voters casting their ballots, including Trooper Jesse Graffinino at Force Elementary in Riverview. Just before I started voting, I heard a commotion coming from the line where everyone was waiting to receive their ballots. Trooper Graffinino took one look back and his training immediately kicked in. I immediately decided to jump up, take action. Little Ella Mae Kate was with her parents, Angel and Jameson, when she suddenly started choking on a candy. When every second counts, Trooper Graffinino knew he couldn't waste any time and started CPR. Administer five more back blows. Uh, about three or four blows into the second set of back blows. I noticed a distinct white object come out of her mouth and hit the gym floor, and she then proceeded to vomit in my hand. It worked. Trooper Graffinino cleared the little girl's airway. I noticed a distinct gasp for air as she took a big breath in and uh, noticed that she was starting to breathe normally. Ella turns two next month. Trooper Graffinino would like to be at her birthday party and have a bond with the little girl and her family for years to come. I am going to stop by. Yeah, I plan on it and uh, very, very uh, respectful family. Ella's a, a bright girl, very special. So hopefully I can be a part of that. Trooper Graffinino has been with MSP for just under three years. He's encouraging everyone to get CPR certified. As for this incident, he says he's just happy he was in the right place at the right time. Reporting in Taylor, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. And